day, everybody. Thanks for clicking on my video. And if it looks like I've been crying, it's because I kind of have been. I got some uh, bad news. Well, like, this has been the day of bad news. One, my daughter's in the hospital, and I can't go be be with 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 her because I'm stuck here at, at home. Wife had to go to work. My daughter, I guess she's asleep now because she hasn't emailed me back since 9 p.m. So hopefully everything's going good there. They're running a bunch of tests on her because they they think that she might have appendicitis or or something. She's had a CT scan and they're giving her fluids and everything. And I'm stuck here at home. Which is driving me nuts. Now, if it would have been my wife's normal job, she would have you know, use some uh, PTO time, drove me over there. But my wife started up a second job, and yesterday was her first day. So there is no PTO, there is no ticket time off, there is nothing. So I am stuck here, here at home. The second part is uh, I got a call from my heart doctor's office. You know, the one that I did the uh, video on? And uh, I was told there's uh, a 50-50 chance that they can go in through my arm and get it. What am I talking about? The blockage that's in my heart. What's been making me feel like absolute crap since me and my wife did our northern Arizona trip. I haven't been feeling right since then. And the uh, the positive 50% of my heart surgery, they can go in through my arm and grab it. The not so positive is if they don't grab it and it somehow gets dislodged. Then I have a ticking time bomb floating around in my body that's going to end up making its way to my brain and causing me to have a third stroke. Yes, I said third stroke. And uh, if you're the praying type, oh, please, please pray. So, enough with the downer stuff. I was angry all morning till you know my world started falling apart you guys know that i've been doing this microphone giveaway with this microphone that's sitting right back there the one that's next to me on camera here that brand new toner tc30 microphone i said to do three things most of y'all did two you didn't do the third thing only the two women that commented on that video did the third thing. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the third thing is. You want to know what the third thing is? Go back and watch the video. Watch it all the way through. Because I said it like at least twice in that video. Go back and watch it because if you don't and... At noon today, the day this video comes out, noon Arizona time, I'm going to make that video private. You won't be able to go watch it, comment on it, or anything. And if by noon today, only the two women are the ones that did the third thing, then uh, I'm going to do a coin toss. I'm going to write both women's name on a piece of paper, put heads under one, tails under the other one, 
and flip a coin and then I'll be shipping that microphone off to one of them because they watched the whole entire video and they got the instructions. Remember, there was three things you had to do. I've been talking about it for over a month. And the next giveaway, which seems like it's going to be right around the corner since, you know, I've gained, uh, well, let's, let's see here. Let me move myself out of the way. 2,270 subscribers right now. Yeah, that's blowing my mind. And it's also making me think bad, bad thoughts. Okay, positive. Stay positive. But the next giveaway, when I get to 3,000, will be a brand new in the box. Logitech C920 webcam. A awesome webcam. The one you're watching right now. The one that I filmed probably 90% of my videos on. If they're not filmed on my phone, they're filmed on that Logitech C920 webcam. Yes, I know it's not the big fancy 4K one or whatever. If you've ever edited a video for 4K videos, take up four times the amount of room as a 1080p video. There's been rumors going around that YouTube is going to start charging for 4K video content because it's four times the size, so it takes up four times the storage room. But hopefully, I'm still alive when I get to 3,000 sub subscribers. It's not my wife sitting here doing this or, you know, my daughter trying to do this. And yes, I am worried, guys. You can only keep pushing your luck health-wise, for so long. And then God knocks on the door and says, Come home, brother. Well, I'm not ready to go yet. 